Yo, what is going on, Madden players? It's Chandler's Gaming here with my first episode of some Madden 15 Ultimate Team. And first thing we're gonna do is rip these veteran packs. That uh, these are a couple days old, or this clip is a couple days old. So we're just gonna rip these packs. You get two golds in every pack, and then you also get an elite bundle topper that has two collectibles to go into the 87 Cam Newton. Now I did that collection and oh, hold up. Let's look at the Jonathan Joseph. Let's check out the stats. 92 speed, 90 man, 85 zone. I mean 86 play rec, 74 press is okay. 90 agility, 89 acceleration. I mean it's all good as a good stats if you check out the hidden stats. You know, 62 catch is okay. 50 tackle, 94 jump, 87 juke move. I was crazy. 96 stamina. He can hang in. He he'll be good. He could stay in all game. Hopefully stay at peak level all game with these number one receivers, especially the bigger receivers in this game. Especially early on, you already have the rising star Mike Evans. You got Alshon Jeffries of the world, Brandon Marshall's. If you're going up against good teams, I mean, there's tons of big body wide receivers already that you know can abuse your corners all game so in this pack you see we got a William Hayes and then we get a Michael Griffin 84 zone 88 speed 90 acceleration 79 hit powers okay 69 pursuit and 60 tackle not the greatest and then there's Jeremy Hill you can see 80 speed 89 acceleration 85 trucking and this dude and Gio Bernard are probably gonna have a really good year this year so, don't sleep on the Bengals. I'm a Steelers fan, but the Bengals, it's, it's going to be a tough division this year for sure. Here we got, we got the Bullied and Jonathan Martin. Then we get Anthony Collins, 92 pass block, 88 strength, 78 run block. Pretty good stats, man, down there in Tampa. And then we get Jared Velt here out there in Arizona, Steelers West, 94 strength, 92 pass block, 82 run block. Pretty good stats, man. 82 left tackle. He can do good. Let's get to the next pack. You know, I'm skipping packs here and there. You got a couple packs that I got low 70 gold. But here we get Brandon Fusco or Fusco. 85 overall right guard. And then we get Ahmad Bradshaw. So, I mean, there you guys go there. Bradshaw, uh, pretty decent stats. But we're just going to jump right into a game after this. And Oh, oh I thought I was going to get something there, but... It's just this extra collectible. And uh, the Elite Bundle Topper had two other collectibles that went to that cam set. And here they are right here. There you go. It's eight in the collection. But let's get into this gameplay. Here we are. We're at home. Um, we're in Heinz Field, baby. We're first in the Bears. And just get right into the gameplay. You're going to see my favorite player come into action right here. Ha ha, Clinton Dix. Boom, laying the boom. Richard Sherman. Picking it up, taking it. So now we got the ball. Now we got the ball on offense. It's 34. Not really the best offensive series. We get it to Roddy White. He picks up the first down. And the team that you're going to see in this video is a lot different than the team. I got, ooh, they pick it off. That's D'Angelo Hall. He takes a touchback. He's going to get it at the 20. He doesn't run it out. But the team that you're going to see in this video is a lot different than the team I have now. Um... There are a lot of players that are still on here. Uh, you guys can see. You know, I'll point them out in the video. Here we go. Oh, drop in picks. And we're back on offense already, man. He has to see 32. Make a bad decision. Our tight end was wide open. Fourth and three. Now we got to go for it. Mike Evans gets laid out. We are in the second quarter. You guys can see the score is still 0-0. Zero zero. There's just nothing going on, which is why we are already in the second quarter. Third and 12 here. We got to see. We got to stop him. We don't want anyone to score before halftime. At least, I don't want him to score before halftime. I want this to stay even. Gets that. Oh. Ah. He gets the first. He's down here. Second and five. He had a big play before this, but it was just, it was a penalty, and so he went over it. But here, almost gets a touchdown, and there's Aaron Williams, I believe, making that stop. 
A minute left in the second quarter. We need to stop him. We need to make sure he doesn't score. We need to make sure that we got to hold him to a field goal here. We can't let him score a touchdown because then it's going to be hard to score. Matt Forte, we hold him. Gerard Mayo makes the stop. Second and goal. We got to hold him. We got to hold him. I'm bringing an all-out blitz. I don't want this dude scoring. Let's hope. Hopefully he runs right up the gut again. I got Alteron Werner there. There you go. Oh, he passes it. Oh, who is that? He gets a touchdown, man. He gets the extra point. Now we're back on offense. 23 seconds left. We're bombing it down there. That's Roddy White, but I get picked off, and Roddy White falls. Look at Roddy White. Get back up to make the tackle. That's determination. But nothing else happens. Now we're in the third quarter. We got Ryan Matthews, man. Trying to do the back step, the little stutter step juke, but... It's hard, you know. It's not as OP in this game as it was in 25. And the gameplay in this game is so much different than 25. And it honestly feels a lot better. It feels like it feels more fluid in this game. Here we go. We're bombing it deep. Roddy White, Matthew Stafford, and the 99 throw power get off me. But he doesn't. We get tackled. And we're down there. So now... First and ten. We're basically in the red zone. Here we go. Ryan Matthews. There's one block. There's two blocks. And there's a touchdown. Now it's tied up. He's got the ball. He's on offense. Matt Forte. He's not going anywhere. Junior Gallette wraps him up. And if you guys see, here we got Desmond Bishop. You can see Ezekiel Ansa. Right there you see Gerard Mayo. Gerard Mayo is the only person out of those three still left starting on my team. Um... Other players, you guys can see McDonald. Gallette is still starting. McDonald is not. Uh, who is this? Brandon Carr dropping the pick. He's still starting. I mean, the team is a lot different. It's just my offense that's a lot different. Here's Clinton Dix dropping another pick. My defense has no hands. Here's Andrew, or not Andrew Luck, Matthew Stafford. I said Andrew Luck because that's my quarterback now. But Matthew Stafford getting sacked. We're kicking field goals. That's Mason Crosby. Now it's 10 to 7. You guys can see there's Andrew Luck, my backup. At the time, I was just trying to get the long pass. And here, gets a long completion. And he's driving, man. He's driving a scare. He's Forte getting the first. Uh, does, does he get it? Oh, no, it's second and inches. Second and inches. Can we hold him? Can we stop him right here? He has, does a wide receiver screen. Doesn't go to him. He's going deep. His Williams gets the. Oh, he's out of bounds. He fell out of bounds. You guys even see the wide receiver's tackling cone came up. Here's Forte. That's one run. Now they got the first. He's driving, man. Two minutes, 30 seconds. We got to hold him to at least a field goal. Tries to do a wide receiver screen, but I'm all over it. I'm not letting it happen. No easy yards right now, man. No easy yards. It's just, you know, the game play in this game, it's so fluid. But defense, honestly, it's a lot harder. This year, and I know that was something that was said last year about the game, that defense was a lot harder than it was the year before. So from Madden 13 to Madden 25, uh, running had gotten easier and defense had gotten harder. Now this year, I would say, nah, I would say running has gotten harder and defense has gotten harder. Running, it's... The blocks are there. The blocks can get there. Oh, ah, ooh, we give up a touchdown. I brought up the safety for a blitz, and he scores. So we only have a minute 25 left, and we got to pass him. And passing is easier. Look, I had someone running wide open down the left. Somehow, Mike Evans catches the ball, and uh, we get lucky, man. But we're driving down the field. It's going to be hard to score here. We do have three timeouts, so it's going to be, it could be easy. We could still drive. But passing is easier, I'd say. Here's James Jones dropping the pass on the sideline. Here, I mean, let's get into this game, man. You got to think, can, can we get this? Here we go. There's Roddy White and just overthrown. He was open. Third and ten. Can we get it? We're getting it. That's Jermaine Gresham. He catches it. It's not the first. That's ten yards, but it's fourth and inches. We got to do We're going to run the ball here, man. Le'Veon Bell, we're going to see if he can just get up there. See if he can churn those yards out. He's got someone. But oh, my goodness. My blocker barely gets there. 40 seconds left. There's James Jones. He's wide open. 
Second and ten. Do the dance, my boy. He has the ball. Have to hold him. Halfback screen. He's not throwing it. He's standing there. No pressure. He's throwing it deep. Brandon Carr picks it off. That's the game. Can I take it back? No, I can't. Just going to run the clock out, man. Run that clock out. I mean, that's the game, man. Crazy, crazy into the game. James Jones, I think he has like 82 speed, burning him down the sideline for the touchdown. He's going to run the clock out. Here's Ryan Matthews. Uh-oh. Ooh, I might have gone if I didn't do a little step. But it's a game, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Look out for more gameplay on the way. And uh, peace out, yo. Make sure to leave a like and a comment.